I am back and after a long while and by popular demand, today we'll be inspecting, dissecting and explaining the structure organisation of the Soviet political commissars. As before in previous rank structure videos, we'll be looking at the highest rank and working our way down to the lowest. Now the commissars were first introduced by the provisional government of the Russian Empire as regional heads of administration. However, the term commissar was used in a number of Cheka and military functions in the Bolshevik and Soviet government military forces during the Russian Civil War. Interestingly, the White Army used to refer to their opponents as Bolsheviks and commissars. Later, the term commissar became related with top government officials. There are around four or five different types of commissars used within the USSR, the first being the People's Commissar. The People's Commissar was a government high official who served on the Council of People's Commissars, which is simply the first Russian USSR government institution then formed into what we would consider to be a Prime Minister's Cabinet of sorts. The People's Commissars and People's Commissariats were renamed Ministers and Ministries in 1946 by a decree of the Supreme Soviet of the Soviet Union. A political commissar was a high-ranking official at the military headquarters who held both equal authority and rank to military commanders. Political commissars were established to control and improve the morale of the military forces by the Communist Party. They were also in charge of the Communist political propaganda and influenced the military and public with Communist ideology. From 1917, the Bolshevik administration, like the provisional government before it, relied on ar experienced army officers whose loyalty it distrusted. Trotsky summarised the solution to the issue. We took a military specialist and put on his right hand and left a commissar. During the early stages of the usage of commissars, no military order might be issued that did not have prior approval of both the commander and the commissar. Many lower-level political officers never received the same military training as commanding officers prior to becoming a commissar. An individual had to be registered as a communist for a minimum of three years and had to attend specific political institutions, many of which they never had any. The Voinkom, translated as War Commissioner, is the head of a military commissariat, a regional office that draftsmen for military service, executes plans for military mobilisation and maintains records on military reserves. Until the late 1930s, the People's Militia and internal troops of the NKVD had no personal ranks and used many various position ranks instead. In 1935, the Militia created a special system of personal ranks that was a blend of standard military ranks and proposition ranks. This system was largely reused by the newly created Main Directorate of the State Security, or GUGB. From 1943, the Militia switched to new ranking system and insignia introduced in the Soviet Army. Instead of general ranks, top officers used commissioner or commissar ranks of militia, third, second and first class, even though they used standard army, major general, lieutenant general and colonel general shoulder boards. These commissar ranks were replaced by corresponding general ranks in 1975. Firstly, we have the rank of Armiske Commissar Kievavaranka. I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly. This rank translates to the Commissar of the Army First Class. It was comparable to the NATO rank code of OF-9A and was the Commissar equivalent of the Soviet rank General of the Army. Next we have the rank of Armiski Commissar Torovaramka. This rank translates to Commissar of the Army Second Class and it was comparable to the NATO rank code of OF-9B and was the Commissar equivalent of again the Soviet rank of General of the Army. Then we have the rank of Korpusnoy Commissar, which translates roughly to Commissar of the Corps. It is comparable to a NATO rank code of OF8. The Red Army's equivalent rank is the rank of General Volkovnik, also known as Colonel General. This rank was responsible for the political and propaganda affairs of the Red Army Corps. Next is the rank of Divisioni Commissar, which translates to Commissar of the Division. It is comparable to a Red Army rank, General Lieutenant, which is also known as the Lieutenant General. It is also comparable to the NATO code of OF7. This rank is responsible for the political and propaganda affairs of the Red Army Division. Next is the rank of Brigadni Commissar, which translates to Commissar of the Brigade. It is comparable to the Red Army rank of General Mayor. And, or Major General, it is also comparable to the NATO rank code of OF6. 
This rank was responsible for the political and propaganda affairs of a Red Army Brigade. Next is the rank of Polkovoy Commissar, which translates to Commissar of the Regiment. It's comparable to both NATO rank code of OF5 and the Red Army rank of Polkovnik, or Colonel. This rank was responsible for political and propaganda affairs of a Red Army Regiment. Next is the rank of Starshi Battaglione Commissar, which translates to Senior Commissar of the Battalion, which is comparable to the NATO rank code of OF4 and the Red Army rank of Lieutenant Colonel. This rank was responsible for political and propaganda affairs of a Red Army Battalion. Next is the Battaglione Commissar, which translates to Commissar of the Battalion, which is comparable to the NATO rank code of OF3 and the Red Army rank of Major. This rank was responsible for the political and propaganda affairs of a Red Army Battalion serving under the Senior Commissar. Now is the rank of Starship Politruk, which can be translated as a Senior Polit Leader and is comparable to the NATO rank code of OF2 and the Red Army rank of Canton. Politruk is the second lowest rank and is comparable to a NATO rank code of OF1A or the Red Army rank of Starship Lieutenant or Senior Lieutenant. Last is the rank of Mladši Politruk is the, is the lowest rank and comparable to a NATO rank code of OF1B or the Red Army rank of Lieutenant or Lieutenant. Mladši Politruk also means Junior Polit Leader. This concludes the rank structures of the political commissars. Now I was comparing them with the rank structure of the Red Army from 1943 till 1955. If you'd like me to cover this more in detail in a future video then I'm happy to do so. If you enjoyed then like, subscribe or leave a comment and let me know what you think. Other than that, thank you for watching and dosvidaniya.